when I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? What's poppin' Golden Bays? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Dominique. I am an emergency room registered nurse. And if you are not new, welcome back, Golden Bay. Thank you so much for coming and just hanging out with me in another video. So as you guys can see today, I'm going to be doing a highly requested video, which is my car tour. Um, if you are not caught up, I just recently bought a new car, not even a month ago, girl. I only have the car for three weeks now, okay? Um, but if you are not caught up, make sure you go back and watch my previous vlog in my previous vlog i did take you guys along with me to pick the car up i want you guys to feel that you know excitement i got a lot of comments saying that you guys were excited because you can feel my excitement through the video so i just want you guys to be caught up and if you are caught up let's go ahead and get into today's video which is my car tour now before we get into the car tour let me just tell you guys a little bit about the car again i've only had the car for three weeks as far as modifications i have not changed anything on the car however if you follow me on instagram which you should be then you know two days ago I did go and get my windows tints other than my tints there are no other modifications on the car however in the car tour video this video that you guys are about to watch the tints are not on yet so that's the only change I have not changed anything else I haven't added anything else to the car I didn't change my tires my rims nothing like that everything on the car is stock except for my tent so make sure you guys are following me on instagram because you guys get updates there a lot quicker but yes i wanted to go ahead and say thank you to everyone who commented who liked who shared who reposted my last video and just saying congratulations and everything like that it really means a lot and also i wanted to say thank you to everyone because we hit forty thousand subscribers like are you kidding me 40,000 subscribers so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all of the love all of the support and again every single like comment repost everything it goes unnoticed and I really appreciate it so let's just go ahead and get into this video because you guys are waiting for this and I want to give it to you so let's go ahead and get into the car tour <laughs> So here is what the interior looks like as soon as you get in the car. Of course, I am on the driver's side, so I will give you guys a passenger view in just a moment. But going back over here to the driver's side, let's start on my door. Of course, I have all of the window buttons to the car, just like any other car, the two front and the two back. I also have a child lock setting right here. Moving on to these buttons. Now, of course, the arrow buttons allow me to change the positions of both of my mirrors. Now, this first button at the top all the way to the left, of course, allows me to change my driver side mirror and the button all the way to the right allows me to change the passenger mirror now the button in the middle allows you to collapse both mirrors that is beneficial for when you're going through like a car wash or you're parking very close next to someone then you can close your mirrors that way they don't get hit so I'll show you guys what it looks like so I'm pushing this button right here in the middle and it's going to collapse the mirrors and it does it on both sides now I'll be honest with y'all sometimes I forget I didn't collapse these mirrors and I think somebody took my mirrors off okay but um, yes I really like that feature especially when I go through a car wash then I can make sure that my side mirrors don't get damaged from like the brushes on the sides that may be spinning very hard 
moving on we have the door handle the lock and the unlock button we also have the seat adjustments on the door that is something that I'm not used to I still try to go ahead and put my arm down the side to change my seat settings but as you guys can see it is symboled as a seat so either way you push it it will you know go in that direction one feature that my car did come with that I really really wanted was heated seats ever since my very very first car which was a 1998 beetle bug I had heated seats I had heated seats also in my previous car and I had to have them again in this car because heated seats is a game changer especially when you're working you know early in the morning or you know getting off at work at night or just you know being in the car in general um, heated seats definitely it's an experience okay so if you have the option of getting heated seats definitely do it moving on I have one jet air vent right here I believe that's what um, I heard someone call them because they do look like you know the jets on airplanes so I do have one little um, jet air vent right here continuing on with all of my buttons and settings to the far left I have my parking brake moving on to the buttons in the middle I have all of my light settings similar to my other car I keep all of my settings on auto that way when I get in I don't have to remember to turn my headlights on and off and then the last two buttons over here are my high beams and then this bottom button controls the ambient lighting like variation in the car I don't know how to explain it so if you want the lights in the car very bright then you'll just go ahead and flick this up and if you want them a little lower then you would flick them down now of course you guys aren't going to be able to see the ambient lighting in the video right now but I will insert a clip of what the car looks like at night very beautiful I chose to have my car light up as pink but you do have several options but we will get into ambient lighting in a minute moving on to the dash now this is of course what sold me about the car is you don't have anything up here it's just all screen which I really really love now you do have the option of changing of course your settings here how you want it to be displayed I chose this setting because it matches the pink in my car at night and then in the middle I also chose to have whatever music I'm playing pop up here that way I don't have to you know turn to the side to look and see what is playing over here I can keep my eyes forward and of course we have the Mercedes steering wheel so buttons to the left control the left side of the screen and and buttons to the right control the right side of the screen so typically over here you'll see like your speedometer and stuff like that and then over here is your media if you're on the phone all that good type of stuff so moving down I have a push to start button so of course you just have to have the key in the car in order to start the car there is no putting a key in which I really really love um, and then right underneath you do have the option to have auto stop one now I did have this option on my previous car where when you stop at a red light it will semi turn the car off and it's supposed to save you gas so I do have that option on whenever of course I stop at a red light or a stop sign or whatever the case may be it will shut the car off partially and then the car will come back on I have three more air vents here and then right underneath I have all of my climbing control settings of course your girl got that AC on because it's hot okay it's hot now the one thing that I loved about my previous car and the car that I have now is that that you do have dual climate control settings so this allows you to have two type of climates in one car so let's say I'm cold over here and I want heat and whoever is in my passenger side is hot and they want AC you do have that option and I can just change my side over here and they can change their side over there and if you want to make it easy you can just go ahead and hit sync and it makes both sides the same but as you guys can see both sides are already the same both are on low because the entire car is hot okay moving into my center console so I just have my phone down here and a pair of sunglasses I do have a sunglasses holder but there's already a pair in there and I just thought I might as well just keep these in the case and keep them up there this plug right here is the option for CarPlay so I'll show you guys what that looks like in a moment and then over here I have a lighter option to you know plug up my phone in case my phone is dying or my Apple watch is dying we have our cup holders and then and right here is my trackpad so the trackpad controls the media center so for instance if I do not want to physically touch the screen while driving I can just you know like a laptop you can just use the trackpad to navigate the entire system and we'll go over the system in one moment but moving on this is just a little um, wrist rest I guess while you you know control the trackpad and then I do have a center console as well in my 
center console, I do have a few things. I have a charger, my Gucci sunglasses, I have my work badge. I think that's a coupon to go and pick up my dress from the cleaners. I think I get 20% off. Um, and then I think I have a comb in there as well as a claw clip just to, you know, put my hair up in case I have the sunroof open or my windows down. So while we're still in the driver's seat, we can go ahead and go over the media center. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the trackpad. It is touch screen as well, so you can go ahead and touch, but I'll just go ahead and use the trackpad. That way my hands aren't in the way. So you have the phone option right here. Of course, if you get on the phone or you need to dial someone, you can do that there. You have the radio sorry you also have media so that's what I was using when I was playing music you also have comfort this is where you're going to control your seat settings as well as your ambient lighting so you guys can see I do have my ambient lighting set on pink but you're not going to be able to see it until it's nighttime like I said I will insert a video of what it looks like in here at night it's so pretty and then you also have some information about the car and then the Mercedes apps. And last but not least, some settings for the car. So I do have all of the Mercedes apps. You can start your car from your phone, all that good stuff. Um, if your car is unlocked, I can lock it from my phone. It's really, really um, convenient because it will send me like a push notification and say, hey, your Mercedes is unlocked. Would you like to lock it? You just push a button and it will go ahead and lock the car for you. So that's really nice. Now, the one thing that I do not have that I am considering getting and I know this might be a little redundant is um, the navigation package I do not have navigation system in my car I believe it is like an extra $500 to get it added in I can get navigation on my media screen here with the CarPlay however you do have to put in that CarPlay cord and I'm a person of aesthetics I don't like to have cords all over my car so if I have to pay a one-time fee of $500 to have the Mercedes you know navigation system on my car car then I will do that that's something that I'm actually going to inquire about um, at Mercedes maybe tomorrow because today is Labor Day so I don't think they're open today so I'll probably call them sometime this week to inquire about that all right so quick interlude editing Dominique here I did watch over the footage before creating this intro um, an outro and I noticed that I did not go over CarPlay with you guys I think I said I would come back and show you guys but I didn't so really quick about my CarPlay there is a specific cord and I'll have it listed down below in case you too have a Mercedes um, there is a specific cord that you have to purchase I bought mine on Amazon I believe I got like a pack of three for like ten dollars so i'll have it listed down below in case you're interested but in order to use carplay you do need that cord and once you plug it up this is what it looks like you are able to use the navigation system you're able to view your messages as well as your phone calls so basically it's just putting your iphone on your car screen that's what carplay is essentially and like i mentioned i do not have the navigation system from mercedes so when i need navigation i do have to plug up my phone in order to see it on my car however i am interested and i believe i'll be going back to mercedes and inquiring about getting the navigation system installed on my car all right i just wanted to say that really quick let's go ahead and get back into the video moving on to the passenger side i have my glove compartment we can go ahead and open this up so i do have this little organizer here that organizes you know like my registration and things like that and then i think i also have some paperwork for mercedes in here so i'll link this down below in case you're interested like i said on that front pocket i do have my registration and i can't show it because it does have my personal information on there and then back here on the back pockets i do keep some pins some clark wipes and then a few random cards so these are like all of my reward cards so let's say I go and get a massage whenever I go to get a massage I get like these little stamps so that's the type of things that I keep in that pocket right here with all the cards I think I also keep my Costco card in there that way whenever I go to Costco I don't have to think like oh my gosh should I grab the card it's already in here so that's the type of stuff that I keep in my glove compartment I also keep some deposit slips and I think those are a pair of safety scissors last but not least in my glove compartment I just keep this multi-purpose all-purpose um, auto cleaner this is from the brand Arm & Hammer I did purchase a package from them and I love their products um, to clean my car because sometimes I feel jazzy and I like to clean my own car 
but I like to keep this in here, you know, just in case I get some dust up here on my screen, I can just use my little cloth and go ahead and wipe it off. And then those are the screws to my old license plate cover. Um, the new license plate cover that I purchased came with screws, so I just kept my old ones in here. And then like I mentioned, I do like to keep an auto cloth in here just to wipe down my media system. Um, whenever it gets, you know, dusty or whatever the case may be, I can just go ahead and spray on the all-purpose spray and quickly wipe down the inside of the car. So that's everything that's in there. I did remove it, that way you guys can actually see the glove compartment because I just throw the that right on top and then maybe like every two weeks or so I'll go ahead and take it out wash it and replace it so that's everything that's in there moving on to the passenger side by the way these little air fresheners are from Febreze I'll also have those listed down below in case you're interested so this is what it looks like from the passenger side you do have one jet air vent over here you technically also have these two but since it's always only me in the car I just turn them all my way um, and then of course when someone else gets in the car they'll just turn them towards themselves moving on to the door it's basically all the same settings that's on my side um, however a little less so you do have the seat control settings the passenger side too has heated seats that's what this button is you can control your seat settings here lock and unlock the window and then of course you have like some cup holders down here so that's everything that is on the passenger side. Moving to the top center of the car, I do have some light settings as well. So the first button to the far left turns on the light just on the driver's side. The second button to the left turns off the lights in the entire car. This middle button that looks like the sun turns on all of the lights in the car. And then the second button to the right turns on the lights singly in the back of the car. And then this far right button turns on the lights just on the passenger side. You also have the Mercedes me button. I've of course never pressed it, nor have I ever pressed the SOS button. But I'm assuming if you have like some type of emergency or something, you can go ahead and press that button and someone will, you know, talk to you through the car and help. I know that's especially with the SOS button is for I'm not too sure about the Mercedes me button but that is again one of the apps that I have so I'm assuming it connects you to you know like a Mercedes representative or something um right here I also have my sunroof button we'll press that in one moment and then last but not least like I said I do have a sunglasses holder up here but this one is holding a pair that I don't have the case to um these are my prescription sunglasses I don't know if you guys can see it I know the lighting is kind of bad but um they're just my prescription prescription sunglasses up there I don't think you guys can see that like at all so moving on to the sunroof one of my favorite features of the car like I just love this car so much I'm like my favorite feature my favorite feature but I love the sunroof it is a panorama sunroof meaning that it does go back further than most sunroofs go um, so this is what it looks like we'll go ahead and press this button and the sunroof will come back when you press the button once, the cover will come back. You do have to press the button again for the actual glass to come back. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is so hot in Florida, and especially not having tint, I very rarely um, ride with my sunroof actually open. I usually keep just the cover off. Now, you can press it again to make that shade go back a little further because I don't know if you guys noticed, but when the glass came back, the cover kind of partially came up again. So if you press the button one more time, the cover will go back a little more. So that is my sunroof. Super pretty. I, I love it, but y'all, it's so hot in Florida, you can't. So here is an overview of the back seat. You guys see this view so much whenever I vlog, but here is another overview of the back seat. Now that we are in the back, this is what it would look like if, of course, you were back seat riding. Okay, so um, a little bit about my seats. Um, I found out that these are like sports seats. These aren't the regular seats that, of course, you would see in a car. I don't have like those two poles or, you know, however you would describe it. I don't have that. They are um, racer seats, I guess, because this is technically like a sports car. You do have the sports option. Um, I don't think I showed you guys that, but you do have the option to change the gears of the car um, to go to like comfort, eco, sport, and I think there's another option. But the doors are very simple back here. You have your window, your unlock and lock button, 
and then you do have two little vents back here as well so you can control the climate back here also down here you are able to you know plug your phone up in case you need to charge it in the back you also do have a cup holder and an armrest quick little side notes i do have these bibles back here in both the back of my driver's seat and my passenger seat um these are bibles that my granddad actually gave me my granddad is a pastor so i do keep these bibles you know just to keep myself and all of my passengers you know safe and prayed up in the car because you never know okay leaving the house and coming back is definitely a blessing so y'all can see i'm all about aesthetics i don't like to have you know much of anything in my car but these i don't play about i keep my bibles in the back of my car and like i said i keep one behind myself the driver and then i also keep one behind my passenger as well I'm sorry if it's so loud out here, but last but not least, we have my trunk. In order to open up the trunk, you do have to push the Mercedes symbol inside, and that will open up the trunk. A really quick overview of my trunk. I do have some cleaning products. Like I said, sometimes I feel jazzy, and I like to clean my own car. Um, as you can see here, I do have some jumper cables. I have some more Clorox wipes, some rope. I also have some Lysol here. And just recently in my video, like I said, if you haven't watched my last vlog, definitely go and check that out when I initially got the car. I showed you guys that I got a self um, jumper starter kit. That way I don't have to, you know, ask anyone for help in case I need to jump start my car. Let's say I left my lights on, I can just do it myself. And then these last two items is my um, previous Mercedes Benz license plate cover. Like I said, I did change that out. And then I do have some more air fresheners back here. In this next bath here I have my emergency girl kit um, I talked about this a lot of times so I just have some feminine products in here um, deodorant and stuff like that in case I just need to freshen up I do like to keep a pair of socks in my car because I cannot name how many times I've gone bowling and I've forgotten socks because I you know I'm always in sandals or something so I do keep a pair of socks in the car I have some lotion I also have my gym bag back here. Whenever I go to the gym, it's already in the car. Right here down the middle, I actually had someone comment on a video before and said they recognize my mat. I do go to Hot Works, which is a kind of special type of gym, so you do need a special type of mat. You can't bring like a regular um, yoga mat there because it will melt because you are exercising inside of saunas. So I do have to have the special type of mat that can withstand the heat. And then last but not least, I have Luna's booster seat. Luna, of course, is my puppy. I keep her booster seat in my trunk because of course I don't have her always with me. Um, but whenever she rides with me, I do put this up front for her and she just lays in her little booster while we ride around. And then inside, I did purchase her a black, like, you know, comfortable little throw blanket that she can sleep on while we ride and again this is something that I just put in whenever she gets in the car with me so that's everything that's inside of my trunk I feel like it's pretty organized again I'll have everything listed down below in case you are interested all right you guys so that's gonna go ahead and conclude my video I hope you enjoyed I've watched several Mercedes car tours here on YouTube and I know a lot of people do like the blingy Mercedes symbol and the blingy push to start button but I know after a while I would get tired of it so I just decided to keep my car sleek and clean and not add any of that type of stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again I wanted to thank you guys for all of your love and support here on my channel as well as us hitting 40,000 subscribers it really means a lot to me and if you too have a Mercedes and you have any tips or tricks or anything like that as far as you know like gadgets and gadgets or the main screen please comment down below and let me know I know there's a lot of things about Mercedes I don't know about like I said I just bought the car three weeks ago so I am still learning and then if you also have any cool car gadgets or gadgets especially from Amazon comment them down below I love Amazon and I am still looking for some things I was thinking about getting like a little portable vacuum cleaner for you know like my puppy because she does have black hair so if you have any things that you have in your car that you love please comment them down below and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys know the drill. Until next time, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh